I either love them or I hate them. Geminis are all the emotions all at once, all the time. They're super mysterious. One minute, they are the happiest people ever. Two-faced. Crazy. And the next minute, they have a different personality. But I think that they are also super loyal. Very ambitious. Helpful. Gemini's the person at the bar who if a guy's bothering you, will she'll throw a punch. That's the one that's like the bull, right? I would say stubborn. Stubborn. Super stubborn. Oh my god. Yes. BFF. Very nice car. Oh yeah, they love flashy things. Like, Tauruses are very materialistic. They're pretty chill individuals. No, I'm just saying the Ford Taurus, it's very stubborn. <laughs> he gets in a lot of fights. Dives in head first, yeah. They're the bull, and they're like going at it straight. I think they're super down to earth. I either love them or I hate them. The most charismatic. The best. I love Libras. I lo yeah, I love Libras too. My mom is a Libra and she's very, very critical. Not just because she's Asian. They're just so charming. Libra's the kind of person that will like fart in an elevator and then walk out as the door is closing. We're really indecisive and can be wishy-washy. Very nurturing. That, nurturing. That would be, that would be That's my, a great word. My word. But we're lovers. I thought it was the same word as virgin. Perfectionist. Type A. Great listeners. I think Virgos are like the psychologists of the astrological wheel. Introspective. Detail-oriented. Virgo is the kind of person who's going to help you organize your house. They're triathletes. Aloof. Really like, let's go with the flow, we'll figure it out. Head in the clouds. Always seeing the bigger picture. Very, very in tune with their bodies. Aquarius is the kind of person that uh, owns some kind of large reptile and just makes no, it's like not a big deal. It's like, I, I got an iguana. It's like, who the f has an iguana? Plain Jane. What? My mom is a Capricorn. Oh, I'm sorry. She's awesome. Can I use a lifeline? No one ever says like, oh, you're such a Capricorn. I feel like Capricorns are really sad. I feel like they're, they feel like they're often overlooked. I feel they're very mysterious. And even if they're having a really tough time in life, you more than likely won't know. Level-headed, I would say. Mm -hmm. They like have, they, they really think about their decisions. Capricorn's got a 10 year plan. Yeah. You know, and it might not even be a good plan, but they're gonna stick to that plan. <laughs> yeah.